<laughs> right. Oh, uh, <laughs> but uh, it, it actually will bring us to uh, this third question here. Mm -hmm. Um, to kind of chill out a little bit, I guess. But then again, I don't know. We're, we're about to see. Uh, <laughs> what are you reading right now? Um, yeah. You know, uh, name a book or, or uh, that you would uh, suggest that you have suggested, you would suggest to others to read that is uh, not the Bible. Um, what? Because being called us off. What's you up know? with the novice point? Yeah. yeah, you know, you already know. <laughs> we actually do read stuff other than the Bible. I mean, you know, true. even though I mean, we're pastors, we, we read stuff yeah. other than the Bible. We don't just <laughs> listen to, you know, the gospel music and stuff right. on the radio either. We listen right. to other things as well. There yes. are plenty of outside sources that inspire yes. us. So, what are you reading right now, though? <sighs> so, I have come back to becoming. Hmm. I. I love, let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. I love Michelle Obama. Mm -hmm. Like, I know people look up to different folks. And with hip hop culture being so prevalent, you yeah, know, a lot right. of celebrities and mm -hmm. uh, mm -mm, Michelle Obama, that's that's my role model. You yeah, hear me? Yeah, yeah. I just appreciate who she is. And mm -hmm. I love reading Becoming. First of all, the title of the book just resonates mm -hmm. because that was a thing that Becoming and Transformation has just been in my in my spirit, if you will, for the past couple of years. And so to see that as the, the selected title of her book was mm -hmm. just, it automatically resonated. Okay. Um, and then I love how it's broken up into three sections. Okay. Becoming me, mm -hmm. becoming us, becoming more. Oh, wow. <sighs> that sounds interesting. That a preach. You hear yeah, me? <laughs> yeah, for real. I mean, that sounds like, like a three-point... Seven, Seven. right. <laughs> That's exactly. She's a preacher. See, I knew it was a reason why I like her. She is a preacher at heart. She's a preacher at heart. <laughs> she has to be. <laughs> but it is so well written. Now, I imagine she has some phenomenal editors and all of that, but just listening to her speak, you can tell it's mm. largely her. I mean, she's just such a great storyteller. Yeah. She paints such vivid pictures. And she is so transparent. You know, and the more I read the book and dive into it, mm -hmm. the more I realize that we are just not that different. Right. And I love how she is so clear about being an ordinary person with mm. an extraordinary journey. Yeah. You know, um, so just diving into that book and learning more about her and by extension, Obama, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Barack Obama, that's. I'm not going to say that on camera, but that's my buddy <laughs> in my mind. <laughs> in my mind, we, we, you know. We cool people. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> um, but between Michelle and Barack Obama, I just absolutely resonate with their story and mm -hmm. their journey and who they are as people and their desire to just be good and to do good right. and to constantly grow. Yeah. Um, I, I love that. So mm -hmm. if you haven't read it, yeah. definitely it's worth the yeah. read yeah, to pick so it. Yeah. I mean, it's like Sounds 400 like, pages, I'm need you which is why I had say the title again one more Becoming. time. Becoming. Becoming. Yes, Becoming. Michelle Obama. Mm -hmm. It's a lovely picture of her on the cover. Mm -hmm. It's it's a little over 400 pages. So I picked it up and I got through like almost the first third of it. And I had mm -hmm. to put it down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Take a break. Because life happens. Yeah. <laughs> but I um, watched an interview with her and I was like, I got to pick this back up. Right. So it is so worth the read. And and just so there's this this uh, part in the book where okay. it's becoming us now. And she's met Obama and they're hanging out together and she had kind of dozed off and she she opened her eyes and she looks up at him and he has this really deep, you know, look on his face and he's just really thinking about something. And she's just like, Hey, what you thinking about? And he says, Income inequality. <laughs> <laughs> so romantic <laughs> right not only that but that is so me yeah. you know like right. i am thinking about these huge heavy issues okay. that we deal with in the world and right. those are literally things that are on my mind yeah. when i'm thinking like what you thinking about man i'm thinking about you know this achievement gap i'm thinking mm -hmm. about the inequity in our schools right. I'm, I'm thinking about the church and why we have more resources than we've ever had in the history of the church and don't seem like we got a whole lot of impact. Wow. Hmm. That is a big one. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I we mean. More resources, resources today. Yes. Than we have ever had. 
in the history of the church. And it just feels like it's just so far out of reach yeah. to utilize and to use and take advantage but of. But yeah, to... you still got folks struggling without health care. You right. still got folk um, unemployed, underemployed. You still got these gaping achievement gaps. You mm -hmm. still have so much hunger and injustice. Mm -hmm. What are we doing with our resources? Wow. Wow. What are we doing? So I, I think about those things. How yeah. how can we be the church? Mm -hmm. How mm -hmm. can we allow God's will to be done on earth as it is in heaven? Mm -hmm. How can we be vessels of that? Mm -hmm. Like, what are we spending resources on? Now, you know, I say we because we're all included in that. But as you can yeah. see from my church, we're not one of the multi-million dollar right. <laughs> ministries. Right. Right. And that's all good because we all have a part to play. Exactly. Exactly. And um, and sometimes maybe it takes some of the smaller ministries to be mm. able to lead the way right. to right. begin to say, you know what? So what if we're 25 or 30 people? Mm -hmm. We're going to be the church. Right. We're right. going to be God's hands and feet and we're going to turn our community upside down yeah. with the power of the Holy Spirit. It, that, that reminds me of the story of Southeast Christian Church in Louisville. Mm, OK. How they started out with only, I think, like 20 some odd people. OK. But they just. They dedicated themselves to give this certain amount, regardless mm. of whatever happened, to build the church up, to be nice. the church, yeah. uh, you know, you're speaking of. And now we're looking at them and they're like this huge mega church. They are. Right. And they only started with just a few people. Right. Because and they had that determination to absolutely. be more, which is a scary thing. Yeah. Right. So it's then scary. it makes you wonder, what is their vision now for where they're called to be? Mm -hmm. Because we visited Southeast and mm -hmm. we, we appreciate that ministry. It's a vibrant ministry. Yes, it is. Um, I love Not a Fan. The, the the author who was a teaching pastor there is escaping me, mm -hmm. his name. But I can't remember it either, but I got yeah, that book as well. Gods of War and Not a Fan. <laughs> I love those two books. Um, yeah. He's dynamic, but it's right on the outskirts of Louisville Metro. Mm -hmm. I just read an article, what, this morning that one of the students at Iroquois High School was found in a blood, a pool of his blood unconscious, mm. mm -hmm. you know, yeah. after being beat down. Right. And yeah. he's in the hospital trying to recover right now. Yeah. And at that same school, the a student got into a fight with a teacher, mm -hmm. you know, just a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. And, and that's just one incident. I'm sure there's lots of good that's happening in Louisville, but mm -hmm. with all of the injustice with all the issues, what kind of impact is Southeast really making hmm. on the question. community? That's a good question. You know, mm -hmm. and I feel like we have to challenge each other in that way. Yeah, most certainly. Because most certainly. it's not a resource issue. It's not a people issue. They've got the people, they've got the resources. So what more can they be doing to help turn around situations in schools and in neighborhoods? Right. You right. know? And in the definitely, you would think that should be a large church kind mm -hmm. of issue they would want to absolutely yeah attack. Um, absolutely, hmm, that's a good question though. I mm -hmm. I didn't even I wasn't even thinking about that. And and, mm -hmm. and I know there used to be the impact that the churches would have in the community that would influence right. a lot that took place, and it doesn't seem like or feel like the the church has that influence anymore. Mm -hmm. But also too, you know, to think and, and, and to really speak to another vantage point of it all as well, you know, we have all of these different people and all of these different members of that supposed to be one body in Christ right. that has all of these different functions. Mm -hmm. uh, one larger church can reach thousands yeah. where one small church may only need to reach 50. Mm -hmm. But we all need to do our part. Right? Absolutely. And we're not, we need to stop existing on these silos. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like we need to realize the power of the collective. Right. And come together more. Most certainly. So Most certainly. that's my prayer for the church. One of them. I'm, I'm going to add that to my prayer list as well. Yeah. Yeah. So becoming. I, becoming. I love that because yeah. I'm, you know, <laughs> we just letting our hair down. Right. Mm hmm. I was under the illusion that as I became older, life would like get more comfortable and easier. And Who told you that? <laughs> Somebody <laughs> lied to me. Right. Somebody <laughs> lied. <laughs> but Man. I have learned that I am still like in the early years of my studenthood. Like I am I am always learning and mm -hmm. growing, mm -hmm. um, even in the pastorate. 
Mm -hmm. As a pastor, I'm always learning mm -hmm. and growing, mm -hmm. I'm always studying, mm -hmm. always seeking to be better. Right. Um, I have a nonprofit. And so always learning and growing in that area and mm -hmm. running into new challenges, which causes me to have to revisit infrastructure and to revisit administrative systems and mm -hmm. revisit delegation and, right. you know, how I can continue to grow this, this organization and do good in a way that's sustainable. Right. I've recently expanded into financial advising and okay. had to do a whole lot of studying. You mm -hmm. hear me? I mm -hmm. was just like, Jesus. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to step in anything unprepared now. Yes. Yeah. And and even with all of the studying for all of the licensing exams and everything that I had to take right. and, and going into production and actually working with clients, mm -hmm. I'm still learning. Right. You know? Right. And it. So life is like this lifelong learning experience Most and certainly. journey. Most certainly. Most certainly. And just when we want to grow mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and when we want to become more. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's another reason why I really resonate with becoming because you realize that other people who really want to do good, mm -hmm. they're lifelong learners too. Right. And they acknowledge that, hey, this journey is never one we're supposed to become complacent or we think we are, we have arrived. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. we, mm -hmm. we hopefully will be learning until we breathe our last. Yeah, most certainly. And Should for be. a minute I got discouraged because I was just like, man, this is exhausting. <laughs> it can be. It most but certainly can be. It can be. But then, you know, we have to take time to refuel and to engage in self-care. Most certainly. And to take care of ourselves in general. So right. just right. learning. Yeah, I don't know if Ooh. you remember it, that I uh, <laughs> I told you I was going to ask you a surprise question. Oh, Lord Jesus. Yeah, I, didn't, I didn't remind you of it. You didn't. It was, I, it was in the back of my head. And, I was you know, wondering if you yeah. had changed your mind. But I'm, I'm going to keep it easy for you. I'm going to keep it light for you. Okay. Because um, with this one, um, I've heard you mention in uh, some of our conversations uh, leading up to this moment uh, about your nonprofit. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about the, your nonprofit. That's the question. Yeah. Oh shoot! I love you. Yeah. I, I appreciate I was, I you. Take it <laughs> That's not, who's your favorite theologian? Like, if you allow life. me to do this a uh, second time, <laughs> we might go. You know, no, this is yes. call us off. We're chilling. So yeah, yes. I, I would love to know about your nonprofit. Though. Absolutely. So yeah. the name of the nonprofit is Root Twelve. Mm -hmm. R O O T one two, and the website is. Root12.org mm -hmm. for those who may want to visit the site and learn more. Mm -hmm. But it has been modeled after Jesus's model of discipleship okay. to go deep with a smaller number. Right. And if he could take 12 people and turn the world upside down, then we're going to dig our roots deep okay. with 12 at a time, mm -hmm. help them transform their lives from the inside out. Mm -hmm so that we can turn this world upside down. That's so awesome. right now we work with women only mm -hmm. um, and we help women rebuild their lives by whatever means necessary. Okay. So it's in partnership with existing organizations, mm -hmm. um, addiction recovery, homelessness prevention, um, different shelters, different domestic violence, you know, just okay. whatever types of issues that causes people to find themselves into different cycles of poverty um, and abuse. We work with women who are already receiving help and support gotcha. who need additional help and right. support. Right. So they have to already be seeking it out and mm -hmm. connect it to an organization. And mm -hmm. then if they need someone to come alongside them and do a deeper dive, that's why we're here. So we do not reinvent the wheel right. where we take a deeper dive with people. And it's centered around Romans 12, mm -hmm. um, 12 one be mm -hmm. transformed by the renewing of your minds yeah. so that we can break cycles of poverty and abuse and and of injustice mm -hmm. by actually renewing ourselves internally and mentally awesome. shifting our paradigm so there's a curriculum that they do called extreme mind makeover and then okay. they have a mentor that they work with um, hand in hand who helps them with different goals and provides a source of accountability Gotcha. So that's what we do. We have six mentees right now. Well, that's five. Awesome. Five. We had six, but okay. one of them, you know, wasn't able to hang in with the program she was with. And so we're praying for her. Yeah. Um, but right now we have five. The goal is to get to the full 12. Gotcha. So hopefully after this year, we'll be in a place where we're ready and we have the infrastructure to expand to the full 12. That's awesome. 
It's mm. awesome. So Route 12. Route 12. Now, is it only serving in the Lexington area? It at this is point? right now. Okay. okay. But the goal is to think locally and to mm. operate locally, but mm. to plan for a global impact and That's a larger awesome. impact. That's awesome. That's awesome. So hopefully we can create a sustainable model that's scalable and we can you know, take it to other places. That's awesome. That's yeah. awesome. That sounds like some good work. Yeah. It's exciting. Yeah. It Fulfilling. Is. Absolutely. You're most it's exhausting. <laughs> <laughs> How many Always other come back to that. Always come back to that. How many other things can we throw? Exhausting, Lord. fulfilling. <laughs> Rewarding, <laughs> Rewarding, joyful. Oh, uh, so you broke the ink cycle. Okay. Look, yeah, yeah, I did break the ink cycle. <laughs> oh, but my, cool, my, my, my family, they have been such a huge support system. Most certainly. Michael, my college sweetheart, mm -hmm. <laughs> he is such a supportive hubby. And our three sons, Joshua, who is the oldest, 14, Benjamin, who is the middle at nine, and Jace, who is the baby at four jace bryson actually that's his first name jace bryson jace bryson so Hold on. his first name is jace bryson yes his okay. first name is jace bryson that's a very unique name it is they're yeah. all hebrew names okay. and okay so the story behind their names all right let's go <laughs> so michael's name is michael sean okay so joshua is joshua michael benjamin okay. is benjamin sean when we realized we were having a third child and we found out it was going to be a boy, we are like, okay, he's going to have Priestley and you don't have any more names to give. <laughs> so <laughs> he's going to have to be his own. So man. he's going to have to be his own man. Yeah. And we gave him the initials JB. Okay. And so we were like with his, from his brothers, Joshua and Benjamin. Mm -hmm. So he's Jace Bryson. And we were looking for names that resonated and that could fit him. That meant something. Mm -hmm. and, but that flow, cause I'm all about yeah. names. Flow. Yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah. So it got to flow. <laughs> Yeah, most certainly. <laughs> and Jace is Hebrew. It means healer. Mm -hmm. And Bryson means son of ardor or passion. It's like English. So we were like, okay. And Nathaniel is his middle name, which okay. means gift from God, because he was yeah. a gift. Yes. Yes, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, just shone real bright when you said that, too. Yes, three. Hebrew. <laughs> three we were like okay jesus we glad you trust us yes. with three little people but we have made our contribution mm -hmm. and we have fixed it prayerfully. <laughs> <laughs> no no not prayerfully oh, okay. we have fixed it <laughs> holla at your girl <laughs> so any more who come from henceforth will be adopted or the lord is on his way back oh i right, know get ready there we go what jay say get ready get ready get ready get ready, get ready. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there used to be that thing right there. Get right. Ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Uh oh, some coming, some coming. Right. <laughs> watch this, watch this. Yeah, love them. Oh love man, them. that's that's cool. I, I really do appreciate you sitting down with yeah. me and, and sitting you. down and talking and rapping through this, and it's mm -hmm. it's awesome to see uh, the work that you are doing and have done. 